everyone and welcome to cycle three. I never thought that I would be getting to cycle three but here we are. Um, I'm a bit snuffly today because I've got hay fever but um, we'll try and get through this. Okay so first cycle um, if you haven't been watching was obviously negative because I'm now on cycle three now. Um, for my other letrozole baby it took four months so if it doesn't work this round, I'm hoping it does, so that I can beat my last <laughs> number of months it took me to conceive. Um, I'm really hoping that I'm not having to go into a fourth month because that would suck. All right, so today is cycle day 12 and I am going to be doing my digitals again and cheapies. So I've got the clear blue um, ovulation. This is the four or more fertile days. Um, test and you can get the one that does two fertile days it's a bit cheaper um, and I'm also going to be testing with the cheap ones as well just because they normally turn positive um, two days after or a day after this one does so I just like to do it with both but anyway so let's see what it's going to say oh actually one thing I will note too is I probably read the instructions and it says that your first test is always actually going to be negative I didn't realize that um, because it needs to take like a base test you should say like so it would see what your hormone levels are to begin with and then the ones after that it would be comparing with that so um, that's why last month my low was on a day that I expected it to be on my high so when I read the instructions and it said that your first one's going to be negative, I was like, oh, that explains it. So it actually probably would have been high. Um, but it's because I took it a day or two later than I normally would. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into doing this test. So this one will be negative today, even if it's meant to be positive, which is the kind of stink thing about it. Um, but you have to do it to get your base levels. Okay, there we go. So our first test is negative, and as you can see on the TV, it is very light. Like it's barely, barely there. So also just out of interest, I, I don't think you meant to take readings like looking at the actual test, but I always like to have a look. Okay, so there's that one. Alrighty everyone, we're back the next day. So I am cycle day 13 today and um, just to recap from yesterday, I got a negative which is this one, low fertility. Um, so just a blank circle. Today I'm expecting, either today or tomorrow, I'm expecting this flashing smiley. So we'll see how we go. Here we go, it's blinking now, right. By the way, this is what I use. <laughs> this is what I use to pop my phone on. There we go. And while we're doing that, waiting for that one, I will dip the cheap test. Okay, so today we've got another empty circle, so obviously not quite enough estrogen going on there yet. So we will test again tomorrow. First, I always have a look at this. There we go, and that's what that one looks like. Hi everyone, so I'm back again and my voice is sounding even more awful than what it has the past two days. So this is a really great time to be trying to make a baby, but never mind. You're beginning to wonder like, is this gonna be positive? Because is my body gonna be like 
no way you're going to ovulate late or not at all because your body's been so run down and sick. So it be interesting to see. Today's should be a flashing smiley face. And if it is not a flashing smiley face and it's still negative, I'm going to be quite worried. So we'll see what it says today. Yay, right on track. Perfect. So my cycles seem to be pretty consistent from month to month so far, with a flashing smiley face always presenting on about cycle day 14. Now this is obviously looking a lot better than it was yesterday. Um, it was quite light yesterday, so this is obviously negative. For anyone who doesn't know, on an OPK, an ovulation prediction test or kit, the test line, this one, has to be as dark as or darker than this line to be positive. This is flashing, which means high fertility. It doesn't mean peak fertility. So this means that the estrogen levels are rising. And then when it's a solid smiley face, that's when your luteinizing hormone has reached its peak. Um, this one here. Um, so this one can give you four days notice of ovulation. This one only gives one to two. So that's why this one is like high fertility and this one's still negative um so these ones if you're using them on your own oh sorry on their own not with these they're going to be take a bit longer to turn positive so they'll, they'll turn positive one to two days before you're going to ovulate this is telling me that i've got about two ish days of high fertility and then i'll have my peak on the third day so that's what i'm predicting for now if it's going to follow the rest of my cycles so i'm really happy to see that and of course, gosh, excuse my filthy vanity. I have been so sick. Honestly, I've been, I've nearly been gone to hospital twice this week. So um, I've had a chest X-ray, blood test, um, EKG, I think it's called, with all the wires all over your, uh, my heart rate's just been tachycardic and I've had a cough that's just lasted a long time. So I've just been a bit unwell this week. So my housework is lacking. So excuse the feels on the vanity. Um, I always like to just look and see what the stick looks like at the end. So let's have a look. All right. Uh, so what am I? Cycle day 15, it must be. Now today I am expecting, so testing with the usual, the clear blue and the cheapy. Today I am expecting a flashing smiley face. If it's gone back to a negative, so circle with nothing on it, I'll be very worried. Um, and if it goes to a, oh my God, I just moisturized my face and now I can't open this because my fingers are all. Get open, there we go. Um, and if it's a solid smiley face, I'll be a little worried because then means that my cycle has gone ahead by a day or so sooner. All right, we're just gonna do the usual. I was gonna show myself because look, I'm in my sweats today. Just had a shower, so we'll just keep the view down here today, shall we? <laughs> Okay, so we, we have a solid smiley face. That's not what I was hoping for today. I was hoping for a flashing smiley face. Um, okay, that means I need to 
adjust my cycle so this my last cycle and this one have obviously shooted through quite fast um because in my first one I actually got two flashing smiley faces before I got my solid um funnily enough though this isn't quite positive yet it's definitely darker way darker than yesterday's but it's still not positive so I'm thinking I still might be two days away from ovulation but I might have to do one of these tonight, um, yeah, quite late tonight and see what it does. Um, was not expecting this, so shit. <laughs> Never mind. We'll see how we go. Alright, so just for usual sake, well, let's stick the cap on the P bit first. Open it up and have a look. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, I've never had one this positive before. This is I've I've never seen that of all the times I've done this test. Holy crap. Okay. So really, 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 really to ovulate. Maybe I'm gonna ovulate tomorrow. Damn it. Okay, so I've left that for its full time. Um, just to recap, I am on cycle day 16 today. I had what I believe might have been my proper positive last night. This is quite close. You can see here that there's a slight shading on that side, so pretty close. So obviously ovulation day must be today because it's still quite dark. All right, well, I'd say this is going to be my last test for this cycle. So I guess we're just going to wait for the pregnancy test now in nine days. <laughs>